career in the field of automation testing is growing day by day just not because it reduces human effort but because of its demand so why exactly automation testing is in demand it is because it allows a tester to do more stuff while automation is performing all predefined tasks so hi guys this is vaishnavi from edureka and today i'm going to be talking about one of the hot topics in the market right now that is a career in the field of automation testing But before we get any further with this session let's take a look at the agenda. So firstly I'll start off with talking about who exactly is an automation tester followed by which we'll understand why do you need to take up automation testing as your career option and finally I'm going to wrap up this session by telling you guys how exactly you can start your quest related to automation testing. So these are the topics we'll be discussing and I also hope the agenda was clear to you guys. On this note don't forget to subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any notifications from us on trending technologies and also if you're someone who's looking for an online certification training in automation testing check out the link in the description box below so let's get started with the session guys so who exactly is an automation tester or who exactly is an automation test engineer See when an application or a software is developed it needs to be tested to see whether it gives the desired output or not. So there are different ways through which you can test your application. A person who could manually test the application by giving inputs, checking the output and reporting it or he could even automate this process by executing a simple script. An automation tester is a person who writes the script to test the correctness of the application. So test automation involves creating and applying technologies that control or monitor the production and timely delivery of software products. Automation testing helps in reducing the time consumed to perform tedious tasks. So a duty of a test automation engineer includes designing, programming, simulating and deploying effective test automation solutions. The major objective of a test automation engineer is to automate as much of the testing as possible with a minimum set of code or script. These automation testers design the test cases by creating scripts that check the functionalities automatically. An automated testing entirely relies on the pre-scripted test which runs automatically to compare the actual result with the expected result. Therefore this role of an automation tester plays a superior role in making the application defect free. So this was about who exactly is an automation engineer or an automation tester. Now moving on let's understand why exactly do you need to take up automation testing as a career option. What are the chances that you'll be hired and what are the best chances that you'll be paid well. Now let's take a look at the probability of it. Test automation engineers can save you from a world full of codes. This is not just a saying guys, this is the reality. Businesses all around the globe are also increasingly embracing automated chatbots to help solve customer issues or to direct customers to the right person. And automation engineers help implement that technology. Automation is also used to streamline IT help desk ticketing service management and to deliver quality products and software faster also the main agenda is to reduce the number of defects you are going to be dealing with a lot of defects but in the end the end results should be no defects so that's the role of an automation tester and ultimately the goal of an automation engineer is to reduce the load on workers and to improve the efficiency and reliability by streamlining manual processes that are redundant or inconsistent So why exactly automation testing is required? Now talking about the current market scale in the field of automation testing, the global automation testing market size is expected to grow up to 12.6 billion US dollars in 2019 to 28.8 billion dollars by the end of 2024 at a compound annual growth rate that is TAGR of 18% during the forecast period. So this forecast is predicted from 2019 to 2024. So within that period it is expected to grow up to 18%. It is expected to increase up to 18%. Also BFSI and the retail verticals are expected to witness the fastest growth during the forecast period. 
the geographic expansion in the emerging markets and large scale implementation of model based automation testing applications are the uncharted opportunities in the market right now and the market growth is attributed to the need to provide seamless end user experience with reduced time to market and adoption to AI ML in quality analysis and testing. Also intelligent automation will continue to be on the software testing radar in 2020 as well. And according to a variety of reports, it is considered to be true. Applications of artificial intelligence and machine learning have been leveraged in software test automation before and artificial intelligence is definitely making software testing very smart. Also guys test automation is undoubtedly no longer a foreign idea in quality assurance. 44% of IT organizations expect to automate 50% or more of all testing in 2019 and it is predicted that more adoption of automation testing will continue to be on the rise this year as well. So this was about the latest market trend for automation testing. Now moving ahead, let's take a look at the salary trend guys. The average annual salary of a test automation engineer is around $90,000 in US. This is according to one of the famous job portals called Indeed. And also there are n number of job roles available in the market. Some of the few famous job roles or the job titles include software test engineer, automation test specialist, developer or tester, testing engineer, quality assurance engineer, automation tester and automation engineer. So these are a few notable job roles in the market right now which are actually booming. Also the salary acquired by these people is quite mesmerizing guys. So quality assurance tester makes up to $58,757 a year. Followed by which we have software test engineer who makes up to $100,422 a year, which is actually great. Now talking about another job role that is quality assurance analyst. So these people make up to $65,235 and automation engineer makes up to $90,336 and senior tester makes up to $81,936 and quality assurance engineer makes up to $67,532 a year. So this was about the stats given across by Indeed. So I've referred Indeed to get some inputs regarding how much does an automation tester makes. So this is exactly how much an automation tester makes in US, okay? Also some companies ask for experience in the field of testing because some companies don't hire freshers. Some company are looking for freshers and so on, right? So these are some mismatch. So you should actually try to look into the job description more and try to get in touch with people who have a background in the field of testing so that you can get proper inputs and you can start building your career in that. Okay. And also talking about the skill set that you require to become a good automation tester. We'll take a look at the skills as well guys. So the very first skill that you should possess would be the knowledge of any programming language. When I started as a beginner, I did not know much coding actually. However, I gradually started to understand the basics of Java and it became very clear to me that without some basic understanding in programming language, there's no way for me to write a logical automation test script. So I started understanding how it works, practicality of the code, how exactly you can execute it, how to work your way around the code and having a little background in programming will not really simplify those automation scripts, but also it will help you in improvising your communication with the developer guys. I figured it out when I was working on Selenium. I think this would help you guys with your quest. Not only that you can also take part in competitions which keep coming up every now and then like the hacker thing which keeps popping up every month. I keep getting notifications related that. So yeah, these are some testing platforms or these are some coding platforms which you can go for. All I would say is programming language is going to be your basic need for automation testing. Be thorough with any of the programming languages guys. There is Java, Python. You can prefer any of it. So I know how exactly Selenium is used and how you can make use of Java and how you can work your way around this coding part. Also, the next would be you should know how to design the framework. 
So you're required to have the thorough understanding as well as the coding skills in C sharp, Python, Java, Perl, SQL, and HTML and CSS as well. Although what language you should be proficient depends on your organization. Be thorough with all of these programming languages guys. Now the next thing you should possess or the next skill that is required to become a good automation tester would be having the knowledge to create a test script. Whether you should have programming knowledge or not in this phase it depends completely upon the automation framework. If your organization is using Cucumber, the scripts can be written in plain English and you don't have to have any technical background. Selenium does require technical background because Java is included or any prominent programming language is included. But if you're taking up Cucumber or your company is dealing with Cucumber, you don't really have to know much of coding. Only having sufficient knowledge of Selenium WebDriver is enough guys. Also, do not forget about manual testing. Manual testing is one such field which lays a proper foundation for your automation testing. You should know how your work can be done manually so that you can implement it on a machine. Automation is a machine and a machine only does what it is told to do. So complicated tests requires a lot of preparation and planning and also has certain boundaries. The script that you write then follows the protocols and tests the applications accordingly. This manual testing thing also helps the tester to think and test using an out of box approach, which is difficult to program in an automation script. Only when you know how to correct your mistakes manually, you can work on it on a machine. You should be proficient in using one of the automation testing tools. So in current agile age, the industry demands speed as well as quality. So the stakeholders and clients worldwide expect an organization to deliver a good quality bug free application in a very small time. This is why automation testing is on rise and being a skilled automation tester is a boon to you as well as your organization. So talking about the major automation testing tools, we have n number of tools in the market right now. Each dealing with different domains, but I've made a list of few important tools that any of the organization would require. Okay, so the first one would be Selenium, proudly supported by almost all major browsers. Selenium has become a household name in the world of automation testing, and almost all major browsers ensure that Selenium is a native section of them. And with the introduction of WebDriver, Selenium ensured flawless execution of browser based web application automation testing. And no matter if you're a fresher or an experienced professional, you should have the knowledge or the working experience in Selenium. Another important tool is UFT or QTP. It was previously called as QTP, but now it is changed as Unified Functional Testing. And this tool is by HP. I think most of you know HP company. So this is still the best one in the industry right now that ensures smooth execution of automated functional and regression testing of an application. So these were two tools which I actually love working on. So I actually came up with that and now talking about the next skill. You should understand the business requirement. See as long as you understand what exactly you're going to be testing. It is going to be a benefit for you as well as the industry guys. Skill automation tester must know the application inside out from both front end as well as a service layer before the testing phase begins. So they must actually know the programming language used the platform or the device requirement should know about the database where backend information is being stored. You should know about the API's and use. Also, you should know about the web services. Also, the first thing you need to do if you're going to be executing a test script, you should check if it's working manually and only then you should go for automation testing because if you're going to be finishing the work manually within a given time, there is no point in getting that thing automated because your work is done without spending much time. Automation testing is mainly focused on reducing time and human errors, right? So if the work is done manually, you don't have to go for the automation testing part. Check for it and check for critical bugs as well, which are unfixed and also expected delivery date by which the testing phase is needed to be completed. You should have a proper skill to troubleshoot the automation tools. Like I mentioned, there are n number of automation testing tools in the market, but you should know how to troubleshoot them. 
and also last but not the least you should have certifications which is actually an added advantage a certification will not only make your profile stand out from others when you're applying for a new job but it will also improve your knowledge base and eventually help you to follow an out of the box approach while testing an application so there are a few certifications that you should take up there is certified associate in software testing that is istqb foundation level advanced level and certified software test engineer certifications also to start off your career as a test automation engineer edureka has come up with a new test automation engineer masters program so let me show you the course outline guys so this masters program consists of all 10 courses and what are those 10 courses let's have a look we have software testing fundamental course selenium certification course continuous testing and devops performance testing using jmeter which is also one of a prominent tool for performance testing mobile application testing using appium so these are some notable courses which is going to be covered in this awesomely curated masters program 200 plus hours of interactive learning and you'll be offered a role of test automation engineer most of the top notch companies like wipro honeywell cisco vmware and so on are actually hiring people who have the certification course guys so what exactly do you need to do here why is it so important to have the certification course masters program is a structured learning path which is recommended by almost all leading industry experts and it ensures to make you a proficient in automation testing domain you'll have five instructor led courses which is software testing fundamental course selenium certification course continuous testing and performance testing so these are some live instructor led courses so you'll be dealing with a capstone project guys so this capstone project serves as a final project that consolidates all your masters program learning so this will require you to understand a business case and present a solution to solve all the problem statements mentioned in the project almost all top notch companies are hiring people who have certification courses so go ahead and grab this awesome opportunity guys also with this we come to the end of this video on career in automation testing if you have any queries related to any of the topics that has been discussed feel free to reach out to us and do mention your doubts in the comment section below and don't forget to like share and subscribe guys thank you for watching this video happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.